Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I did this just to be silly for the thumbnail, although I thought it actually turned out looking a little bit cute, but I can, I can never wear things like that on my head because it just slips off. My hair is so fine and uh, it doesn't have any kind of coarse texture to it, so I've never been able to wear things like this. They just fall off. Anyway, what I'm doing today is a tag video. This tag was started by Jill Maurer. I hope I'm saying that right, Jill. Um, and it's called the Fall Style Tag. I actually came across this on MJ Lux's website, so I'll link her video below. And then I went back to the original and watched Jill's video, so I'll also link that below. And I had never come across Jill's channel before, and I started watching it and watching more and more videos and I had to stop myself because I have other things to do today. But I was very interested in her channel and there's a lot that I still wanna watch. So I highly recommend that you go check out her channel and subscribe to her and to MJ Lux too. She has a lot of great content also. This tag that Jill came up with has 15 questions. They're all about fall and I have written them all below. I've copied and pasted them from her website into the description box. So if I don't tag you at the end of the video, I'm only tagging six people, so I probably didn't tag you. Um, feel free to do that video. Jill invited anyone to do it, and you can get the, the questions there. Be sure you mention her in the video. Let's get started. I have all the questions written out here in my notebook. So question one, have you turned your heat on yet? Like Jill, I live in the south where it is pretty warm in the winters generally. And we do get some cold weather, like this weekend it's in the 50s. That It gets colder than that, but that's pretty much our winter temperature here in Houston. But it goes back and forth because, what was it, Thursday, I think, and for about a week previous to that, it had been in the 80s. It was hot and muggy, and I took the dogs down in the morning and was sweating by the time I came back. And then all of a sudden, within a day or overnight, it dropped into the 50s. So to answer the question, I have turned the heat on when it gets down that low, but, um, but we don't use the heat very much. We've still had the AC on a lot. Question two, do you switch your closet out for fall and how long does it take? I do not. I do have some fall and winter, well, I wouldn't say fall really. My fall stuff is is regular clothing and maybe I layer it or throw a jacket on over it. But I do have some winter pieces that mostly I have because I used to live in New York. I went to college up there and those I tend to keep separate. Like we have a separate coat closet so all my coats are in there. I have a few layers that I keep in, um, well in this apartment they're not in drawers anymore. They're stacked on my shelves. And then I have boots that I keep put away that I pull out. I just got them out yesterday. The rest of the year I wear flats, but my ankles got cold yesterday so I had to pull the boots out. Question three. What are your favorite fall wardrobe neutral colors? I pulled some out. So my neutrals are denim. So for example, I pulled out my clay. Now I wouldn't wear this. I'd put it on my bag as a bag charm, but I do have denim. Of course, I also wear denim every day. That's Lily LV. Hi, Lily LV. She's messaging me on Instagram. I also really like burgundy for the fall. I just got this top and it has these really flowy sleeves. The body of it fits, um, it's a fitted body, so it kind of hugs you, but then the sleeves are billowy and nice. So that's lovely, and I, I just love that burgundy. Whoops, it fell off the hanger. Roxy, by the way, is uh, right here. You wanna make an appearance? She likes to sit in my chair. She, she sits behind me. What she does is come and sit on the floor. Hi. She sits on the floor next to me, and she stares at me, and I ignore her because I'm doing things at my desk, and then she goes, like that and I look down at her and I tap on the chair and she jumps up and sits behind me and is fine for the rest of the time. So that's Roxy and Baron's in the bed down here. I'm gonna put her back. She's so well behaved, she's just amazing. She fits in perfectly. Another neutral color I love and I do consider the burgundy in this color to be neutral. Um, a dark green like this and I got these green shoes recently from Payless. I'm really enjoying the Christian Siriano shoes from Payless. They're inexpensive, especially when you can get them on sale, and they're really cute and comfy. So enjoying that a lot. 
The clothes, both of those, the jeans and the top, I'm sure I got at TJ Maxx. And then my other favorite neutral for the fall would be brown, and I pulled out Usually my browns are the Vuitton accessory bags, so that's what I pulled for this. That would be my brown shade. Question four, what are your favorite fall wardrobe accent colors? So I only picked one accent color for that, and that would be yellow. And I really prefer a mustard yellow, which is not quite what this is. I had another shirt, you've seen it in previous videos, that was mustard, but, um, I think I stained it or something, so I went back, it's from Talbot's, I went back to Talbot's to get another one and they had changed the shade of yellow, so this is what I got. But I prefer more of a mustardy yellow as an accent color. Question five, one of my favorite questions. What is your favorite bag to break out in the fall that you haven't been carrying in the summer? I carry all my bags year round, but this one I love to break out during the fall. I feel like vintage monogram with the deep colored vachetta is just a perfect accent for fall. So I have two vintage monogram bags. I have the Speedy 35 and I have my Noe GM. So this would be the main bag that I would break out in the fall. I'd say this and the Noe GM. Um, I have a question for you guys. Are these poofy things still in or not? I don't see my students carrying them anymore, so I feel like they're probably not in. If I still wear them, will I look ridiculous or is it okay? I never know these things. Never know. Question six. I love that some of these questions are creative and they're not just all about handbags and clothes and stuff. So question six. Do you own a rake or leaf blower? We live in an apartment, so we don't, we don't have to worry about that. There are people that do the landscaping. But when I was a kid and we had a house, we owned a rake. We never owned a leaf blower because we were poor and we didn't spend money on things like that. That would have been a big luxury. But I remember raking the yard a lot, and I actually enjoyed that. I enjoyed doing yard work and raking and mowing and things. I've never understood why people complain about that, but that was probably because I was a kid and I didn't have to do it all the time. Um, I've never owned a house where I have maintenance. That's one of the reasons that I haven't owned a house and don't want to. It's because I don't want to have that yard maintenance or have to pay someone to do it. Question seven, what is your favorite fall coat? Hold on, this is my favorite fall coat. I'll stand back so you can see it. Hi, Roxy. So I'll stand back so you can see this a little better. It's about thigh length there, almost goes to my knees, and it has this faux fur collar and this kind of Baroque design, and uh, it's a thin corduroy. And I've had this thing for, I don't know, 15 or 20 years now. I've had it a long time. I think I got it at JCPenney's or Foley's, one of those department stores, and I love it so, so much. I think it's really cute and vintage looking. Apparently I really like vintage for fall. Question eight, what is your favorite fall flavor? I don't really have a particular flavor, but what I would say for fall is Thanksgiving, if that's an answer. Um, I love the foods that we have always had for Thanksgiving and some of the new recipes that we've added over the years. We have, you know, the turkey, obviously. We never did cranberry sauce, but I've started doing that, just a can of the whole cranberries, dump it on a bowl, and there you go. And we do a jalapeno cornbread, which is fantastic. My grandmother's recipe for dressing, the classic green bean casserole. And I was just thinking the other day that I made a recipe. It was a truffled scalloped potatoes. It was very rich and decadent but so delicious. So I was thinking about maybe making that for Thanksgiving this year too. And my mom makes a sweet potato casserole with pecans on top, it's excellent. So my favorite flavor of the fall would be Thanksgiving. Question nine, what is your favorite fall scent? Right now, I just yesterday filmed the video of the unboxing of the Henry Bendel pieces and I'll link that below, it was the last video I posted. But this candle right here is from Henry Bendel. It's the Manhattan Spice. I had it on all day yesterday and I lit it up this morning again and I'm loving it. Usually in the fall I'll do, well, year round I do vanilla candles. That's my favorite. I'm boring with candle scents. But I also love spices like cinnamon or maybe kind of an apple pie scent. So those would be my favorite scents for the fall. 
Question 10, what is your favorite fall food? I'm gonna go back to my Thanksgiving answer and I'm gonna pick one of those and that would have to be the jalapeno cornbread. It is fantastic. I, You know what, if I can pull the recipe out, I'll link it below for you. It's so good. And this cornbread, in case you're interested, it's not like a regular cornbread that where it's kind of dry. This is a very moist and again, decadent cornbread. When you make the batter, if you try this recipe, and you should because it's amazing, the batter is almost soupy. You don't think that it's gonna turn into a bread, but it does, and oh, it's so good, so, so good. Question 11, what is your favorite fall drink? For me, that would have to be hot apple cider, which I love. It's hard to find a good one, but I just found a good one at our grocery store. And I'll write the brand name of that in the description box below in case you're interested. I don't know where they distribute, if it's just a local thing or not, because the store I got it at is a specialty store. But I'll link it below in case you want to try to find it. And then the other thing I really love is tea. That noise you can hear is um, Roxy scratching. She jumped down as by the door. But I love tea. I've got my Spode Woodlands teacup out right now that has little animals on it and there's a little badger no it's a bird i was looking at it backwards so there's a little bird inside there so that's what i've been drinking today with my fancy breville tea maker that i have that video about question 12 what do you do or change around your house in the fall for this i'll cut to another piece of video so I already showed this to you in my apartment tour video, but this is where I decorate for the fall. It's on top of these bookcases that we have here. I apologize for the noise in the background. The dogs are running around. So for fall, I have these ceramic pumpkins and then I threw these um, silk sunflowers down with it. I basically do the same thing for Halloween, except I don't have the sunflowers and I add a few Halloween things. So I'm able to carry these pumpkins throughout October and November and then everything will come down the day after Thanksgiving so I can put the Christmas decor up. Those are usually on the dining table, but I'm using it right now for some other things. And of course the turkeys come out at Thanksgiving. I think I got that a couple years ago at Pier 1 and then my turkey bowl, which I love, is from Williams Sonoma. And that's a little scented wax warmer that I just cleaned out so it doesn't have anything in it yet. And of course, a lovely Damier Eben handbag for the fall. That makes the perfect decor, you guys, perfect. Um, and then I have more pumpkins and sunflowers. And to get a little height in this, I just turned upside down a glass bowl and put the pumpkin up there so they're not all flat on the same level. So that is pretty much it when it comes to my fall decor. It's about all I did. Okay, I'm back. Question 13, will you be outside more or less now that it's fall? Um, we need to be outside more. We don't go out as often as we should. We have a beautiful neighborhood across the street with lots of trees that provide shade in the heat and we need to get out and walk more ourselves to get more exercise and certainly walk the dogs because they really enjoy it too. So I'm hoping more. It's usually not really very different because the weather is not all that different in winter and fall for us. It does get brutally hot in the summers though. Question 14, do you already know what your holiday plans are? I basically do for Thanksgiving. We're having Thanksgiving here at the house. We're going to, I think we're gonna buy a pre-made turkey this year. We've done that a few times so we don't have to deal with cooking it, but then we're gonna make all the sides that I talked about. And then for Christmas, and that'll just be me and the boyfriend and my mom, because my sister and her family live out of town. But then for Christmas, the boyfriend's brother and sister-in-law are coming in from out of town to spend Christmas with us. And then I think that my sister and her family, depending on their work schedules, um, we're hoping that they're gonna be able to come in for Christmas or a little after Christmas. And they haven't seen our new apartment yet, so they'll be able to come over and see that and spend Christmas here. And the last question, question 15. Share something that you enjoy doing or wearing in the fall. So for that, I pulled out a couple of scarves. I've got my confidential bandeau from Louis Vuitton, which 
is a little difficult to find these days. It used to be you just walk into the store, go on the website, and it's there. But these colors are fall colors to me, those dark browns, different shades of brown. But then especially these two scarves, because I think leopard, I mean, that's fall, right? It's, it's as fall as pumpkins are. I have the Louis Vuitton leopard. It's the Steven Sprouse leopard with the pink. And then this one I believe is by Sam Edelman. And I actually really prefer this scarf to the Louis Vuitton one. I kind of just bought the Louis Vuitton one because it's Vuitton and because I got a good price for it. I got it pre-loved. It, it was brand new, but I got it off the real real and they sell them there fairly often, or at least they did when I bought this. Um, but I really like the print on the Sam Edelman better with the lighter colors and the different colors of browns. This is just kind of all the same, and I like the variation in the Sam Edelman. I also like the size of this one better than the really long Vuitton scarf, but leopard for the fall, right? So that's the 15 questions. Now I'm going to tag six people. Remember, if I didn't tag you and you would like to do this tag video, do it. Just make sure you mention Jill Maurer and link her video in the description box like I did so that she gets credit for it. Okay, first person I'm tagging is Louis Vuitton Coffee Lover. The second person I'm tagging is Lily LV. I'm tagging the two of you for basically the same reason. Lily LV, I know you're very, very busy right now and you're not filming much. And same thing with Louis Vuitton Coffee Lover. You just moved, so you are very busy and not filming much. I know how difficult it can be to come up with video ideas when you are very busy with other things and you don't have time to really sit down and think about it. So doing a tag video is something where you don't have to think that hard. It's already kind of pre-made and you can film a video and get it out there. So I'm hoping if you can find the time, you would appreciate being able to do a tag. Person number three is Will McKayson. I haven't seen a sit down video from you, Will, in quite a while and I miss them. I would love to see you do this tag and I know it'll be great because you live up north so some of your answers are going to be different and you have an amazing sense of style so I would hello Roxy so I would love to oh, hi hi what are you doing you want to be part of the video you want to talk to people do you want to do the tag we need to get you a Thanksgiving dress it's coming up soon we have to order that quickly we do we've got to order it quickly very quick so Will, you have an amazing sense of style and I want to see what your answers would be. So please do this, I would really love to see it. And then the last three people I'm tagging because I know they would also have some great responses here are Lux Purse Love, Leo Lion LV, and Just Jennifer. So I tag you here and I will do a, an Instagram post too and tag you there so you're sure to see it. Thanks again to Jill Moore for coming up with this tag. I love the questions. They were really great. Again, I love that they weren't all just about fashion and style and handbags. You guys go check out her channel. It's awesome. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Click the like button if you like the video and the subscribe button if you haven't done that yet and then click that bell notification icon to be notified when I post a new video. Thanks again for watching. Have a fantastic day. Bye.